we heard from Gojira was back in 2012 with Le Infant Savage, and when this new album was announced, the hype around it immediately grew very fast, because it's been a while since we heard from these guys, and they've been one of the most influential metal bands in the past 15, 16 years or so, so a lot of people were excited when this album was announced. Now, in the middle of actually recording this album, the Duplante brothers actually lost their mom. And now, it's a big event when one person in the band experiences something like this, but for two people in the band to experience it, and the fact that they're kind of the core writers of the band, it's kind of really profound that it happened. But even though this terrible tragedy happened to them, it didn't really derail the album very much. It actually, in my opinion, it strengthened it. Because what they did was they took a very horrible event and they made it into a positive event. Now, the opening track on the album, Shooting Star, it's um, it's kind of different from what we're normally come to expect from a Gojira opening album track because most of the opening album tracks are very upbeat, they're very in your face. This one, it's still kind of upbeat, but it's very laid back. It's very, sort of a little bit mellow. And it kind of sets a tone for the whole album because a big change in this album is it's still Gojira, but there's a lot more clean vocals present. Which is actually a good thing because it kind of lends itself to what they're trying to do. A lot of the vocals are very big, they're very, it's very spacey sounding, which at first, when you first listen to it, it makes it kind of hard to hear some of the time, but once you actually get used, you know, when you, l you give it a couple of spins, well, listen, you know, nobody really spins stuff anymore. When you actually listen to it a couple of times, it, um, y you, you start to understand what they're saying. As you go further deeper into the album, you hit songs like Stranded, which is honestly, it's one of their more radio-friendly songs. It's one of the first singles that they released off the album. This one's actually really cool. It has a really catchy chorus. It gets stuck in your head. It's, 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 it's a very cool song. Now, halfway through the album, you hit Yellowstone, which is kind of like a minute and 17 seconds. It's kind of more or less like a little break of the album. It's basically just kind of like fuzz. It's the best way I can describe it. You have the bass, some fuzz, and some drums going on. It's very thick. And then after you hit that, you hit uh, Magma, the title track, which the next couple of songs are kind of the highlight of the album. Magma is it's very long, one of the longer tracks, and there's not as much lyrics in it, but it's more or less kind of, they do a lot of playing in it. You have a, a lead that basically goes on through the entire song, which it's it's kind of an ominous sounding lead, but it's actually, it's, it's very cool. Now, as you can tell, the death of the brothers mother is very evident throughout the entire album because it kind of shows up in a lot of the track names like you have stranded you have prey you have lowland and um and one of the songs he constantly talks about let me know what you see let me know what you see when you get there in the afterlife i guess it's kind of like you know let me know that you're okay let me know that you know everything is fine and the whole aura of this album is that it's 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 like they're taking their pain and they're almost like they're like purging it from themselves. It's not like a very sad or depressing. It's just more like of a sorrow, sorrowful or very longing. And it comes a clue. It comes across very well. Pray is actually one of my favorite songs in the entire album. It has this cool little triplet groove going on, and it's actually one of the more heavier songs on the entire album. Now, as you get closer to the end of the album, things kind of start to slow down a little bit. Lowlands is kind of more of a a laid back type for Gojira it's more of a laid back type of song and then the very last song on the album Liberation is it's mainly just bongos and acoustic guitar playing as it as it goes out it's very ominous to me it signifies that they're liberated they're free from the despair that they've gone through with their mom's death they're just it's like a final send off to her in this album now this album, it's 10 tracks, but with Liberation and Yellowstone, they're kind of like little, you know, they're not full songs, so to speak. So it comes out to basically like eight songs. It's only about 45 minutes or so of music, but it's a very compact, it's very quality over quantity type of album. It's very, the album is very good, it's very slick now. It took me a few listens to kind of see how great it was, so to speak. My first listen through, I really liked it a lot and I thought it was cool, but the more I listened to it, the more I saw that and felt that it was a really good album. So since I'm rating stuff now, I'm going to give this a 4.5 out of 5. 
It's probably going to be in my top 10. It's a very awesome album. The production is good on it. The lyrics are good. It's just, it's, it's good from top to bottom. Considering what happened during the recording and writing of the album. Good to see these guys back again. It's been a while since we've heard from them. So, what do you think about this album? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Do you wish it would have went in a different direction? Let me know in the comments down below. As for me, I'm going to be out. Peace.